Hello? How are you? It's so nice to be here again. Uh, I am a coffee and accountability. My name is Oriana. I'm a solo mom as a young adult. I'm a travel agent and I was also newly diagnosed with ADHD, OCD, and social anxiety. So this is my life in money. Finances for me have always been um, very difficult for me. I, I didn't quite learn how to budget when I was younger. All my mom told me was get a credit card, spend 50 bucks, pay it off, and don't ever do it again. So that was the financial advice I was given as a teenager. Um, but there, there are some years where I do really, really good, and then other years where just it, it all goes downhill. And we are in the downhill slope, trying to go back up that hill. So we are going to start off with some happy mail. I am in a book club, and um, the person that that runs the book club has these uh, magnets. So she was giving them out. I'm like, hell yeah, give me a magnet. So her sticker says all bodies are good. And this is, um, this is the book club I'm in is for, it's about uh, anti-diets. Um, no longer dieting, no longer giving into diet culture, feeling good about your body. Um, and, and, and living in the body that you have and not trying to ruin your body because of some unattainable ideal. Uh, so her, her magnet is diet suck and they do, uh, one diet gave me, <laughs> gave me an eating disorder. So and I have a little note, and this is going to go on my car. And isn't that beautiful? I love it. All right. We love Happy Mail. I did get in the mail my car registration. Um, it went up. It's 111 now, and it is due in October. Another piece of mail that I got that I'm thrilled for um, is, is, is this that says, um, I, from my health insurance company, they approved my, uh, sensors, the, the sensors for the continuous glucose monitor. And I am thrilled. I was diagnosed with diabetes in January and I have been trying to get this covered by insurance since then, um, if I pay out of pocket, it's $144. I don't have $144 and I can't always remember to, to do finger pricks. Um, so I have now a continuous glucose monitor, so that'll be easier. All I have to do is just get my phone just before I eat and scan the sensor and it will be, uh, oh, it'll show me my blood sugar reading. So I am thrilled. It makes me very happy. We are going to move on from this. However, I did a little budget and we're gonna move equality over here. I have another sticker too that says, you grow girl. You grow girl. Uh, I did get that from uh, Bad Jokes by Good People a few months ago. Uh, I like it. All right, so this is the budget I did this morning. We are on August 27th, which is today. Uh, I did pay myself last night. It was came out to a $113. I did need to go get gas today, which is why I paid myself. Um, so I budgeted 30 for gas, 50 for food, and 24 cat food. The cats have been very, 
what I say, Hermosa's been very picky about the food that I, the wet food that I got. She doesn't like it. She's not going to eat it. Wicker, on the other hand, likes it and would be the only one eating it. But she has been, um, she, she's been slowly not wanting to eat it. So I budgeted 20 to get them uh, some wet food that they both like. And then <clears throat> I budgeted $10 to go into my 500 envelope challenge and $3 to go in the 50 envelope challenge. And now I have zero of a paycheck. So I went to the bank today and I, <laughs> I got to the bank and I realized I did not have my bank card. Um, I don't, I'm not keeping it in my wallet anymore because I, I will just swipe the card and spend for no good reason. So I got to the bank, remembered it wasn't in my wallet, and then I went all the way back home to get it. Um, and I got there shortly before the bank closed, which is good. We are going to take this out. I have everything budgeted for my calendar uh, already and these are receipts that I need to, to scan into uh, Fetch. I have two from the UPS store uh, because when I was out uh, yesterday, Friday, Thursday, I was out on, th I don't know, Thursday or Friday. I needed to uh, make some, needed to print some items. Uh, I usually print at the FedEx office and there was no FedEx office anywhere near where I was um, supposed to be. But I want to tell you something about the UPS store. I'm not so liking their printing options because they, they charge you $2.00. For them to go over to a computer and print what you need what you sent to be printed whereas FedEx you can email it to print, FedEx print and go um, and you'll get sent a code and when you get to the FedEx office store you can go over to the printers and type in your code and print out your things and only pay for the uh, pay for what you've printed. So I am not so happy with UPS store and I don't believe I'm ever going to use them again for on the go printing because that $2 and I did this, what, twice? $4 the other day could have gone to something else like a Little Caesars pizza, you know, um, because I, that day I forgot to bring a lunch. So kind of starving. That was not fun. Um, so, uh, beware of the UPS store if you need to print uh, some items there. So after the bank, I went to Walmart and I got the cats their cat food. Uh, the fancy feast that we usually get, it went up from 64 cents to 83 cents, which is, um, kind of, it's, it's kind of makes me mad but it's 83 cents now and they're three ounce cans. Um, so with 20 bucks, I, I could only get four, um, but I got two boxes of one of their other favorite wet cat foods. Um, so I got 12 of those, so I have 24 plus four, I have 28 uh, cans of cat foods for the cat. So that'll, that'll tide us over for two weeks. And then I also bought some uh, some drinks really um, and they had at the produce in the produce section they have like little pots of fruits with forks and and like better type lunchables like with nuts and cheese and and fresh apples and all that so I bought several of those um, and I spent $23.79 out of the 50 so I have $20 to go back to groceries. I have $10 for my, oh my goodness, 
$10 for savings challenges. And then the other three, this is a leftover one, so I'll put it in the savings challenge. And then I have $3 left over. So I'm going to give that to, oh yeah, I have $23. I should have $23.79. So 23 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. I do, did find uh, two pennies lying right next to the car this afternoon. So I picked them up and I have it. So yay. So this is going into groceries. I did get gas. So the gas money is already spent. I don't have anything in my spending. This is, should be household. Household, I spent on Thursday. Um, I did use it for items for a job that I did. So I'm gonna reimburse myself that $17 when I get reimbursed. So $17 will go into household. So I have $23.79 that needs to go in groceries. Uh -huh. Come on. Groceries. Go in. And then um, my labels actually should be coming pretty darn soon. So that is done. I'm going to put this to the side. 10 And I'm going to put four in the so let's go to the savings challenge. Hi, roll the dice. 500 savings challenge is getting 10. So I can do, I have a five and a five. Or I can do, I don't have a three. So I can do, I don't have any more twos. Let's do five, the two fives. Five, five. I don't have five over there. So let's do two fives. That'll make me feel accomplished. And we'll add that. Two sevens challenge today. Uh, I did get a new tripod, so hi. Who's coming at you with a new tripod? Uh, I, I, I splurged on it, honestly. Um, I was just getting a little annoyed with my other one. Ooh, that is sparkly. Uh, so I decided to get the new tripod. So let's put in the 10. Well, 10. And now I have 50. 70, 80, 90, 95, 1, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, plus the five dollars and change, I have almost 130. So that is exciting. That is very, very exciting. Let's see if I can get all this in. I can tell you, I it's that, that's a chore. So I'm putting four dollars in the fifty envelope challenge. I'm gonna go. I have a plan. Um, have a plan for this. I have I have that 95 from the July monthly challenge that the $95 that I need to pull out. Um, I also have some cash that needs to go to one of to the last thing that my daughter uh, was doing so that school rock um, we raised some money. I have $80 in cash that I need to add to the rest. 
Uh, so I'm going to just take 80 from my bank account and transfer it to the School of Rock account. Um, and then take that 80 in cash and stuff it in savings challenges. So I should have $125 to stuff uh, coming up very soon. One, two, three, four. And so I have six, and now I have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three dollars in coins. So we're moving along. So with that big amount, I'm gonna. My plan is to put a large amount in this savings challenge and a large amount in the 500 savings challenge and uh, see what I can do with roll the dice. Uh, I have one, two, three. So I have three more sixes left. I have pretty much all the fives and all the fours uh, left to do. So once I knock out the sixes, we're, it, this will be going very, very fast, I believe. Um, so that is the video for today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, for everything. Your encouragement. Your everything. But thank you for it all. I am going to leave you with this. And I will see you in the next video video. All right. See ya. Bye-bye.